Rip dig diggity doo, a tifty here. How's it going? Coming at you live with another smash bang wallop of a beautiful video. No, I'm sorry, I don't know what that was. How's it going? Tifty here. Today we're looking at cough rollouts as demo man. I've not seen many videos about this, so I hope it'd be very useful for you. I'm going to be putting timestamps in the description so you can jump to the maps you are most interested in. As always, these are just some of the routes I like to take to get to the mid as quickly as possible, but I'm sure there's plenty of others out there. So if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. So let's jump in with map number one. So first of all, we're looking at Badlands. Now these are going to be all the official maps in order. The nice thing about Badlands is, as it's a 5CP map, there's a very tried and tested route to use. Basically, as you're coming out of spawn, pop a sticky bomb on this panel to the left. And as you come out of this little doorway, do not try and jump, that's the most important thing. Simply just crouch and detonate and you should find that you do a nice juicy little sticky jump around this corner. And then you just grab this medium health pack and away you go. It's worth practicing a few times if you're finding it difficult. You can try putting the sticky down roughly where this kind of vertical line is if you find that useful. Um, if you're having troubles, just try detonating at different times, maybe a bit later or a bit earlier. And that's kind of all you need to know for this one. So let's move on. So the second map is Harvest. So with some of these, I'm going to look at your regular rollout and also some kind of interesting alternatives. So if you're using the sticky jumper, you can try those out. But to begin with, what I find myself doing the most is simply jumping up to this high ground here. I jump up to the roof, I sometimes do a little surf for some reason, it just, it just looks cool, it's pointless. And then I jump into these windows, I get the health pack, and then from up here you've got a great view down onto the point. You can see where the enemy team are rolling out. You can apply some pressure to the team without being too visible, which is always you know, a good option as a demo man. There's not a lot of point of you jumping straight in and being at half health, you're probably just going to be taken down. If you are experimenting with the sticky jumper, you might want to try a couple of options. One, jumping to the very edge of your roof and then doing another jump onto their roof. You can be really aggressive. You can immediately start throwing some pipes down as they come out of spawn or even quicker, but it takes a little bit of practice. It's just doing one double sticky jump all the way to their roof. Obviously make sure you're jumping very horizontally. So maybe detonate a bit later than maybe you would with a single sticky jump. But yeah, you can get over here and take no full damage, which is really nice. This map's particularly good fun with the sticky jumper I find anyway. If you have any other suggestions I'd love to hear from you. I've tried like jumping more to the right here. For me it's such a chaotic map you need really high health to begin with. You could try jumping into their area. Maybe that could work and stealing their health pack but you need to get there before they do. But anyway yeah just let me know if you have any other suggestions. Next up we have high pass. I actually really like this map and it doesn't really come into rotation very often which is a shame. My standard rollout for this is pretty simple. I put a sticky on this wall here. You probably want to aim a bit higher than you may imagine. You can see those little nooks there. Maybe three of those nooks up is a good idea. You want to do a very horizontal sticky jump to make sure you don't hit your head on the way out. Detonate a bit later if you're having trouble with that. The second one is a very simple small sticky jump and then you simply grab the medium health pack and away you go. It's probably not worth doing another jump. You can get up here a bit quicker if you really want to set down some early traps but in most games to be honest I'd play it safe and stick with just the first two jumps. So like I said be careful not to put the sticky bomb too low. You can use this window here as a guide as well. Roughly level with these windows on the spawn doors. If you want to try the sticky jumper on this map, it can work, it's okay, but it's not the greatest choice for me, just because there isn't as much freedom as you get as, say, we saw in Harvest. Uh, but yeah, you'd start the rollout exactly the same as before. You could try a double jump here. To be honest, you can sort of jump wherever you want. You know, you've got that freedom. There's health packs all over the gaff. But the easiest option was probably just to put two sticky bombs down, do a massive jump, either to their side or your own side, where there's a, a small health pack if you do take some full damage, uh, and you can top yourself back up. Next up is King, I keep saying that, Kong King. I can't not say that wrong. So the first thing I'll say about this map is be careful of all these crazy signs poking out. This does take a bit of thought. You can't just go out the door and jump in any old direction. You really have to think about what you're actually dodging. So yeah, take a look at them. And then the best option, if you want to get to the middle quickly and simply, but with lower health, is to jump straight down the middle. Put the sticky bomb down a little bit further left than you might think and stay kind of to the left to dodge around these signs. Another option is to do the same thing but actually take the lower route and immediately get the health on the way. That's probably a better option, it's obviously going to be a bit slower but at least you're at full health and actually being down in this lower area as a demo man is really good. You can use the arch of your projectiles to deal loads of damage without even being seen yourself. Finally you can jump kind of the main route through, 
This isn't a route I favour, you know, your whole team tends to go this way, but because there is a small health pack there that can help you out a lot. And if you are using the sticky jumper, then nothing really beats just getting two down straight away and jumping straight to the middle, just being careful again of those signs. You can actually do it without losing any health, but this isn't a very good example here, I do actually take some full damage. Like I said, I always recommend flanking on this map rather than going straight down the middle choke point. So you could try and take this right option as well, and there's a medium health pack here, but it is tricky to get up to full health again if you are taking this route. Next up is Lakeside. This one's really annoying to try and roll out on because there's so many little low ceilinged areas at the beginning of the map, they just make it very difficult. If you're using the regular sticky bomb launcher, you could either go the far right route, which takes you to the massive health pack, but you have to make sure that you're the first one there, else someone else is gonna nick it. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. Another option is taking this left route where you've got a small health pack on the way. You probably gain a little bit of time, but it's not ideal. So yeah, very tricky if you are just using the regular sticky bomb launcher, but if you're using the, the sticky jumper, then you wanna use the same jump to begin with, just a nice little one at the beginning here, and then you can put one or two down for the next jump and get pretty much anywhere on the map. That's what's nice about some of these maps. You can pretty much get anywhere in one jump. The best option is probably just to jump over into their main kind of sniper balcony area. From there, wait for the enemy team to pass, ambush them if you like, and do a bunch of damage. Also, you could try jumping straight over to their corner of the map um, with the medium health pack and stealing that so they can't use it. Okay, so next up is Maple Ridge. I haven't played a lot of this because it's, you don't see it come up very often. The rollouts for this map are pretty simple though. Whichever way you go, there's this large open area to begin with that you just need to get across as quickly as possible. One simple jump should get you quite quickly to the mid and there's a little health pack on this side. So you can grab that and set down some traps. Or if you're taking the left route, again, just one jump. And there's a medium health pack here, which will get you back up to full health. Pretty much just as quick. And then again, you can whack down some stickies and away you go. If you're using the sticky jumper, pretty much the same deal. It starts exactly the same, but you can just do as many jumps in the mid area to get wherever you want to be in the map. Moonshine, another Halloween-y map. Again, I've not played a great deal of this, but the options for this seem pretty simple. You'll want to come straight out this middle door, do a single sticky jump. Again, you can go either way. Both have a medium health pack. You can do a second sticky jump to the health pack just to give you that extra speed. You should be able to get to full health again, or if not, very close to it. So here's the same again for the left route, exactly the same pattern. One big jump, one little one, and away you go. One thing that I wanted to call out for this map though, which is definitely worth bearing in mind, is that there's a couple of really great roofs you can use. So the first one is, which I love the most, is over at this side of the map. If you jump onto their roof here, you're really tricky to spot, so you can do a ton of damage. And also it's worth bearing in mind that the middle roof as well you can get to, especially if you're using the sticky jumper, these locations are super easy to get to and really fun to use. Okay, so next up is Nucleus. Nucleus is Nucleus. Nucleus is a really weird word. I think I've said it too many times. It's a really weird word. Anyway, if you've got the regular sticky bomb launcher, there's very little you can do here. You could jump up to the top, but I would recommend just conserving your health. So I'm actually gonna go straight into the sticky jumper. So if you come out of the gates, you'll probably wanna go to the left rather than going down these stairs here. Basically a great option to use is just simply jumping up to these roofs here, throwing down pipes and ambushing enemies wherever they happen to be. Obviously you gotta be careful for soldiers who will jump up and join you. But other than that, you have pretty free rain up here. The only downside is though, that it's very difficult to hit pipes from that kind of range and that kind of angle. So you may wanna take the risk and actually use the regular sticky bomb launcher to get up there and be, you know, you'll be at roughly just above half health perhaps, but then you can rain down stickies and cause loads of damage. But if you have any other suggestions, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Next up is Probed. Another map you don't see very often, but I, again, I really enjoyed this when it was first being played quite a bit. So you can take either route here. If you decide to go to the right, you can take one sticky jump off the wall. There's a nice medium health pack to sort you out on the way. That's pretty simple, gets you there pretty quickly. I'm a big fan of jumping up to these roofs and kind of taking control of the high ground. If you're going left, I wouldn't recommend using the wall. I'd put one down on the floor here. I find it a lot easier. 
and then doing one big sticky jump to the medium health pack again. And so you end up at a similar kind of place, but just further to the left here. I've not played much of this map with the sticky jumper, but I imagine it would work fairly well. You've got a lot of open spaces you can jump around in. If using this, you can start out the rollout exactly the same, but obviously you don't have to bother about the health pack, so you can jump straight up onto the roofs and try and take control of the map. Again, another little rooftop area that I really enjoy using is this one here. It's another position the enemy will very rarely expect to see you in, and as they're coming out of their spawn area, you can sort of surprise them and deal a bunch of damage. Next up is Sawmill. I absolutely love this map with the sticky jumper. You can pretty much get anywhere with a single jump. It's really good fun. But let's start off with your regular sticky bomb launcher. So the safe option is to simply put a sticky bomb on the side of this doorway here and do a single jump down to this medium health pack here. The reason that's safe is because you're at full health. You can play conservatively around the point and support your team. So this is actually the option I would probably use the most. The other options I've played with are jumping straight across to this rooftop here and then from here you could probably jump down and get the health pack on the logs below. This way you can kind of carry on through the hut ahead of you and flank right round. If you are using the sticky jumper, bear in mind that you can actually do a jump within this area here straight away. That's worth doing, it, you know, it shaves a second or two off. And then the second jump, now I've been trying all sorts of things here. The simplest one is to do a nice double sticky jump to this rooftop here, popping around this corner and being a nuisance. You can actually do this in one jump, but it's, it's quite tricky to do because you tend to hit the skybox quite a lot. Another option is using the wall for your jump instead. You might find that easier, but you know, in this example, I actually take full damage. And one thing I actually found by accident is that you can actually do a really horizontal jump and surf off that miniature roof there. That way you can get all the way there quite neatly without taking any full damage. But you know, it looks fancy anyway. It looks cool, that's the main thing. Next up is Suijin. I'm probably butchering that, apologies. Absolutely love this map, I don't know why. It's a beauty. So what you wanna do in most cases is simply do a single sticky jump right to the middle onto this roof here. Even though you end up with lower health, it's still worth doing because you can jump into this room and sticky up their main route onto the point. Because you're there so quickly, you can do so much damage, it's awesome. Obviously be careful of soldiers bombing in as well or enemy demos. One thing worth noting is that if you wait a little bit longer before you do your sticky jump, you can actually get to the second level of roof. Perhaps if you're finding that the enemy is jumping up here a lot as well, you could sort of try and surprise them. And then perhaps instead of trapping inside the room, you could actually trap the bridge here and really delay their push to the point. Obviously this all becomes way easier if you're using the sticky jumper. You could do a double sticky jump, get to the exact same place and lose zero health, so that's awesome. You can also, if you really fancy it and you're feeling a bit crazy, you can jump right over to their roof. It's unlikely that no one's gonna see you do this, but once you're up here, you can throw grenades down onto them as they walk across the bridge or do a little bit of cheeky spawn camping. But yeah, this is just generally a really great map for the sticky jumper because there's a couple of really good routes you can just jump from one side of the map to the other. It gives you so much mobility. It's just so much fun to do. Okay, last but not least is Viaduct. Very popular map. So what you want to do here is a very simple single sticky jump to the door on the left. I recommend going to the left rather than the right. I find it a bit easier and a bit smoother on the second part of the rollout. But yeah, the first jump to the doorway, the second jump, nice little bunny hop, and you can get the medium health pack. You should be able to do this and get up to full health, although I've not done it in this example here. And then you can just make your way to the point, set down some traps. On this map, there's not a huge benefit of using the sticky jumper, to begin with at least, because you're gonna get there in pretty much the same time. You're gonna use the same two jumps, but obviously once you get to the middle, you know, you have free reign, you can jump around wherever you wanna be. It's definitely still good fun to use that weapon on this map. And um, you can get right behind the enemy and cause all sorts of chaos. So yeah, if I was playing deadly seriously, perhaps I wouldn't use it, but in a pub, definitely good fun to try out. Anyway, that is every single official cough map and the rollouts I like to use. I hope that was useful to you guys. What should I do next? I guess probably attack defense maps. They could be good. I might avoid doing five CP maps just because the pros have that covered. You know, I'm never gonna be able to do that justice. If you have any other suggestions, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.